Okay, Alex, so we're going to talk about our drop-in E-Type kit. So this is Alex. Um, Alex is our architect engineer, so he specifies the high level of the vehicle, of all the vehicles that come through here and all of the kits. Um, he also manages our worldwide partner installer network. This is one of three models of kits that we have specifically made to drop into E-Types. This is 1962 Mark I E-Type that it's installed in. Beautiful vehicle, but Alex, can you tell us about the kit? Sure, thanks Steve. So this is, uh, as Steve said, one of our kits. Uh, what we're looking at particularly is 160 brake horsepower, 600 newton meters going into the rear differential, uh, and everything prop shaft back is all the same. Uh, we've got a battery box in the front and one in the rear. Uh, important things to note are that it uses original engine mounts, so everything is reversible and there's no uh, cutting or damaging of the original, original vehicle. Um, We've got a range of 150 miles and we've got CCS type one or type two charging. So charging this particular pack uh, in under an hour. So performance, this particular version of the kit is, this is nice lightweight run around. It uh, accelerates faster than the original. It's very peppy when you drive, um, really nice drive. Range, uh, this one has the smallest battery pack. It'll give you about 150 miles, Alex. Yeah, and we've got ones that will give you more than that, uh, and also one with a bigger motor. Um, so we could look at 200 brake horsepower, and if you really wanted to, 900 newton meters going to the diff. Um, the other things that come included in the kit are uh, instrument drivers. So your gauges and your dashboard stays exactly the same. Um, as we're saying, this is a complete kit. Everything is included. So from the outside and the inside, this is still a Series 1 E-Type, it's still classic and beautiful to drive. I seriously love this car. Look at that, it's just effortless, but powerful. Well, here we are then, a beautiful summer's day, a 1962 Series 1 Jaguar E-Type that's been converted with our E43 kit. This is a 120 kilowatt motor, 600 newton meters going into the rear differential, and a battery pack that split front and rear that bolts to the original mounts. Uh, so the engine mounts in the front and the fuel tank mounts in the back. That means that for, for any E-Type enthusiast that has a matching numbers car, there's no modifications required. So values aren't affected. And for installers, it's a really simple process. Just unbolt the engine and bolt in the new power plant and battery pack. So what's this like to drive? It's simply fabulous. It really is. It's lovely. Um, slightly frustrating with the traffic today. Um, let's see if we can see far enough ahead to actually to over, up to pass these people. Oh yes, we can. Let's see what that does. And we're away. Yeah. And the next one, let's see what's around the next corner. Oh, and here we go. That is how an E-Type is supposed to be driven. How beautiful is that? It's just glorious. It's all there when you need it. And we're out in the open air, as you can see, in the sunshine. And you can hear the birds tweeting as you go past them at 50. I love it. One of the beauties of electric in our kit is that with everyone having a different driving style and an interpretation of how they want to drive a particular car, we can map the software to reflect that. So I've got three different profiles here, uh, in this case Eco, Normal and Sport, which will change my throttle responsiveness, my regen profiles, and the overall sort of torque uh, availability that the motor outputs. So that means again, like our 911 and our Defender kits, the car has different personalities depending on the scenario and depending on who's driving. You might want quite a lot of regen for around town, or you might want not a lot so that you can coast through corners, carries quite a lot of speed. So here we are then, pulling out of a junction, and it's nice and easy. I don't have to you know, wait for a massive gap. I can keep up with modern traffic. I'm faster than most of them, to be honest. And it makes the E-Type 
and any classic car for that instance, really usable, really practical. The car's lighter overall, we're at 60 kilos under original weight, around 1,260 kilos, which means the car's really responsive and likes being chucked around. Okay, so here it is, an opportunity to go for a beautiful spin. Oh, I just love it. Don't you just love it? It's just such a rush. It's amazing. It's lovely. It's beautiful. And I actually, for this car, the way this is set up with the open sky and the Cotswolds, I prefer not to have the gear shift, strangely enough. And uh, it's beautiful. It's smooth. It's immediate. And it is quick. This is now a car that you not only want to look at, but you want to drive. And you can drive it anywhere. We've got CCS charging, but it's about that experience. It's still an E-Type. It looks like an E-Type. It drives like an E-Type. We've got standard suspension, standard brakes. And we haven't modified the car in any way. But everywhere you go, you still get the looks. It's an E-Type and it's gorgeous.